Alright guys, sorry about the weird cut and the weird ending uh, from the last video. So what happened is... I went to the X8 lab and it was not nice. Trust me, it was so hard. I barely managed to beat it and it took me about 4 hours. And after that everything spiraled, spiraled out of control. I finished the game. But I had no control of the game and I just didn't really like how it ended because it was out of my control and there were still quests that I didn't complete. So, we are gonna start from here. So we were in, uh, close to entering the lab but we didn't enter because the emission struck. I ran back to the base and here we are. Now I ran back to the base because if you remember the mercenary quest we couldn't figure out it's because the mercenary quest is started by talking to this guy over here and the annoying thing about that is nobody's gonna tell you to do that so that's why we were lost there another thing we spent a couple of minutes researching the curtain garden and basically that was a lost cause because this area cannot be accessed without the quest okay so that is the explanation now let's continue Gary told me about the incident with the mercenaries blah 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 incident they have uh, something and they want to access the lab uh, the thing they have is the red key card and the red key card access a particular area which you cannot access if you don't have it so if I went to the X8 as I did you cannot access it and after that the quest bugs up so this is the first thing that spiraled out of control because if you complete the x8 lab without doing the mercenary quest you don't have the access to the special room and after that if you come to do it the quest bugs up because you're running something you should have run before entering and getting all of the documents from the x8 lab so that's why we are redoing it and now we are gonna there is no wrong way to go with this so we are gonna choose to eliminate all of the mercenaries and take the key card Lieutenant Kirillov Kowalski here I need you to escort the major And we received the sniper, by the way. Major, the mercenaries are in position. Well, we already have a better one. Now, I don't see the mercs, by the way. Yeah, they're gonna be in the courtyard. Oh, I can see rocket launchers. I'm gonna quick save. So just start shooting, right? I'm guessing the one by the main entrance is their leader. First target escaped. Fall back. Oh, wait for the clients, people. I'm an idiot. Oh, no. Okay. Let's wait to see what's gonna happen. I think they're doing like an arms deal. I'm guessing the one by the main entrance is their leader. That's easy to tell if we use our binoculars. Mercenary. So what do we have to do? It's actually much harder to hit them if they're moving around. I want 
there if anything's gonna happen. Let's wait it out. Let's see what's gonna happen and then start shooting. Okay, yeah, we still have to wait. One by the entrance. This is probably the leader then. Oh. Look, there's another group. Let's see which one of them is the messenger. This is the messenger, you can already tell. The targets are by the main entrance. Should we start shooting right now? Don't know. They're oh. done. Time to take them down. Okay. That did not work out. Cool. So start shooting before they start moving. Simple as that. The targets are by the main entrance. First target eliminated. Second target eliminated. Is that it? I think it is. Mm -hmm. All of them ran away, but I think we got what we wanted. We want the key card. There's nobody here, so they did run away. Right, let's see if we have the key card or we do we have to redo this quest again. There's the key card. We got it, boys. And the second. Cool. Is it upgraded? No, it's not. Is it special? No, it's not. Okay. I think we, we did it. One shot. So what now? Yeah, go back to base. Yeah, I think we did the quest. Let's drop the snipers just slowing us down. Okay, so... That's the first quest on my bucket list that I wanted to complete before finishing the game. And I'm glad I did it. Let's see what's... The leader, the commander of this group, gonna say about that. About the mercs. About that sentry. About the mercs. Alright, we did it. About the sentry. Controller has been dealt with. The pro that probably. That's probably what happened to the recon squad. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, that's sorted. So now we have the red and yellow key cards. Those are the two key cards you need to get to the lab X8 and to complete it fully. Now, with that said, we are not gonna go to the lab X8 yet. We are gonna go to old service center and get the second batch of tools, but we are not going to do that today because we are going to do that in the morning. Okay, we are going to do that in the morning. Like this.
And hopefully it's not raining outside. Let's repair our weapons. Leave these over here because we actually we can just drop them. We don't need them to clog up the space. Короче, анекдот цивильный. Ну, прибывает как-то на кордон к посту генерал. И спрашивают у одного из срочников. Ну, сынок, как служба? Ничего, товарищ генерал, привыкаю. Представь, солдат. Ведь ты теперь защищаешь людей от зоны. Как сюда попал? По собственному желанию. Ну, я согласен, что людей надо от зоны беречь. Генерал улыбается. Какой сознательный солдат попался. А то ты дальше. Я и военкому сто раз говорил. Нечего мне в зоне делать. А он, сука. За тобой тут следить все время надо. За другими тоже присматриваться. Болейте поганые. Крышу рвет только так. Видали уже. Can we leave the tools? They seem to be heavy. No. Alright, let's move with the tools on us. Alright, off we go. Can we have enough ammo to deal with everything? 400 assault rifle bullets and 90 sniper rifle bullets. I think they're golden. Use an energy drink. And we are going to take those tools. We are gonna uh, when we acquire the tools, we are gonna bring them back to Nitro, and then we are gonna upgrade all of our weapons because we are gonna need that. Otherwise, I can I don't want to go to Labex Eight. Labex Eight is one of the hardest parts of the game just because of the mutants in there, and as I said, it took me about. I don't know, six hours to complete it. But to be honest, I had a lot of misfortune there because first of all, there are there is an area with three dwarves and yeah, the dwarves, the mutants that chuck your, your weapons away and everything. And I had to use about 500 bullets and I ran out of bullets. So I had to use my sniper rifle and I ran out of ammo for my sniper rifle so it was not a fun time and it took me about two and a half hours just to take him out and then after that I couldn't find the documents because their abilities are to chuck things at you and they actually chuck the documents at me and the documents should have been on a table and they weren't and I was looking for them through the entire lab and it was horrible and I lost about two hours there. Uh, it was not a pleasant experience all in all. Alright, I can't see anybody here. Just anomalies and artifacts too. Great. Get through here. Let's see. Can we shoot? Yep. Go ahead. Let's get our artifact detector out. Should pick up that artifact because it's a big chunky boy. Can we break the door like this? I mean the the board. We can indeed with a sniper rifle. I'm just looking for the tools mainly. Can't see them here, even though they should be here around around somewhere. Okay. Kind of worried that some mutant brothers are gonna be here. Hopefully not. Can 
that's a resistant box, is it? Some VOG grenades. I don't think we can break this box. This is a stash, probably. Yeah. With nothing special in it. We never use those VOG grenades. But I should use them. But with so many choices of weaponry in this game, very hard to make a decision. I think I don't like about those grenade launchers on the weapons is you have to switch to the alternative firing mode that takes time and I don't have time in this game because I get destroyed before you get a chance and there's a dwarf there so this is going to be fun mm -hmm. Let's see if we can get him before he can get us. Whoa, that was smooth. I think we had distance on point. Or the grenade did a lot of work. Don't know. Everything on and I'm afraid to miss something. Oh, we can close the door. And here are the tools. Perfect. Oh, we got some ammo too. This is the ammo for the, uh, like the, the rail gun, the big gun the Zulu has. And that weapon can be found in the XA laboratory and it can be upgraded and it's pretty savage if you manage to upgrade it because it can have 200 bullets in the clip. Let's just pick up that artifact and try not to die. This would be very easy if the artifact wasn't moving so much. Alright, we are golden. Can we jump through here? Would be nice. Yeah, we can. Oh, brilliant. Alright, we got all of the tools. Might as well make a small B pool. This is something I discovered while I was doing the last mission, the AE back mission. We are gonna go over here, but before we go there, might as well explore this while the day is young. Let's go to the T theater and see what's happening here. Let's just quick save. Monolith, okay, interesting. Let's hide. Alright, one down. Two. Crap, that one has a sniper rifle. Got him. Alright, this area is safe. He has nothing. Nothing again. And nothing again. Let's just unload the sniper rifle and drop it. I'm telling you, the sniper rifle, uh, sniper, sniper rifle rounds are the hardest thing to get by in the game. And they go hand to hand with the gust rifle. Ammo. But I, I was preparing for my sniper rifle since the beginning, so I got a lot of bullets. 
Alright, the theater looks like it's pretty barren and empty. And a lot of goodies to be found. But at least we took out the monolith. Where is that maximum weight? It's over here. Is there a way to go upstairs? Can we open up the stores? No, no, and no. Okay. Kind of pointless area, don't you agree? There's nothing special in it. But there was a similar area in Stalker Clear Sky. Ooh, there's something over there. And here, cool. Let's be careful not to blast ourselves with the gas tank. Let's go downstairs and see what's happening in here. This is the point where the entire area opens up. A piano. Can we play anything on it? No. I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit puzzled by this area. Why is it here? What's the point? It feels like they wanted to do something with it, but they didn't have enough time. Stash, cool. Popular Chernobyl Ferris wheel. I reckon you guys saw the picture online at one point. Let's get a better look at it. I don't think it's by the the river though. Well, it's not the river. But it's a nice touch, I love it. This is a nice touch too, I don't know how it ended up in here, but, you know, nice touch. Okay, so we did explore the movie theater, but there's one more thing we need to explore. And it's gonna be a proper shootout. That's shell. that's gonna give us energy recovery, but it's not the perfect one. Now, the last thing I want to explore here is this area, Riverport. I want to take out the, the monolith over there. Once you take him out, mercenaries will occup occupy that area, as far as I know. And this over here is kind of poetic, but this is where you get picked up on your evac mission. That's the last mission you should do. Now let's see if the monolith are here. Yep, yeah, they are. There's one. This is like their main base, I think. And there's going to be like 10 or 15 of them, and there are going to be some zombies too. But we can do a lot of damage from here if we can see them. All of them are inside. Ah, oh, damn gate. Yo. 
beautiful. And I love that they are so passive right now. The zombie. This is a bad position to be sniped in front. They have the ground advantage on me. Eight of them. Okay, let's move back. Second one. Did I get them all? I don't know, but that was good. I love that they are so stupid. Three left. See a zombie over there. And there are a couple of them over there too. Two. I think it's safe to go inside and Face them. I think he saw me. Visual Raga. This is a good vantage point. <sighs> the only issue is I can't see him now. Nope. Nearly fell down. Nobody in there. I should just go down and face the music, should I? There is a stash over here. Beautiful. Let's face the music. Beautiful. I don't need that rock launcher ammo. Oh, you had a vent tunnel. So two of them left. And the reason I'm clearing this area is, as I already said, they are gonna attack you when you do your evac. So this is just like future proofing myself to have a good evac and the other thing is there is actually a monolith leader here you want to take him out too and he actually has a PDA additional on. units this is Colonel Kowalski according to our readings an emission is approaching take cover immediately <laughs> Yeah, we will. As soon as I get his PDA and drop his crap, I'm off. Oh, 
slash coordinates are on top. What's the nearest place? Okay, yeah, yeah, we can hide over here. The missions give me the the bejeebies in this game. It, you ne you cannot be prepared for the mission in this game. Is this a good cover? It's saying to go below, but I don't know. I'll just go in the toilet and hide here in the corner and see what's gonna happen the game did quick save as soon as he said the mission is gonna hit so you know let's wait it up and see what's gonna happen if we die we die we're just gonna respawn at the point the mission was announced but basically with e we did everything we wanted to do we got the tools and we got the pda from the monolith spider Basically, the PDA contains meaningless entries, but one stands out. The model is communicating with the recipient of the message and ordering him to collect surplus ammunition and store it in locations unknown to the non-believers. These locations are to be marked with the mark of monolith. When difficult times come, those who hear the monolith shall benefit from its wisdom. I have conveyed the will of monolith to my brothers and told them where to place the ammo basically we received the coordinates of the stashes we discovered some of them so basically that's the only stash we have left and as soon as this emission is over and presumably we survive in this toilet we are gonna go back collect that and Return to Jupiter. Turn in Attention the tools. all units. This is Colonel Kowalski. An emission is starting. I repeat, an emission is starting. Take cover immediately. And that will conclude our Nitro mission. Then we are going to do the Three Conrads mission. This is going to be completed as soon as we complete the Nitro. We are going to do the Oasis just when we finish the game. Because I don't, uh, I don't even know if we are gonna do the Oasis because it's just a bad end ending. So I'm, I think I'm gonna skip this mission. The monoliths we cannot do because we made a mistake. The Stingray and the X8, we are gonna be able Attention to. Attention, all units. This is Colonel Kowalski. The mission is over. Beautiful. that apocalypse <laughs> let's go upstairs collect that stash see what he had nothing special yeah let's go And that's the stash. It's basically this Gauss rifle ammo and Can we yeah we can. Gauss rifle ammo and some medkits. That's it. Seems like there's something here. Just grass. No! That pigeons, crows. Okay, we're going back to our base. I really want to explore that one, but I'm not sure if it's worth it. We are close, the day is still young. We have some monolith close by, I think. Let's see how this pans out. Oh, we definitely have some... No, Zombros. That's easy. Woohoo. He got some air on that one. Actually, 
Let's use our binoculars just to see if there's any anybody close by. I see them. Let's take out our artifact detector to see what's happening. which weapon he has. Did you recognize it by the nose? Antelope. Yeah. Your aim is so bad. Though it seems there isn't anything in this particular anomaly. get inside now can we climb it seems like we can Jesus we can and we just figure it out an artifact okay I wonder, I wonder what's gonna be here. Don't pull down, don't pull down. I love exploring. This game is so immersive. That's gonna hit us on the way back, is it? We need to be fast about it. So on its way back, we go. That's what it's safe. Yeah, fell down. Oh, oh crap. Where did we fall? Is the artifact in there, maybe? <gasps> Alright, well, time to quick load. Nah, it's raining. I wonder what's on the other side. is over there. This better be worth it. Play bloody cards on. Survive this. We are good. Let's run for it. Let's get safe. I'm glad I have my set of suit. Jesus. All that for this. Now, honestly. All of you that played at this game, have you discovered this? Health restoration, plus six. Yes, please. 
Ease, I like it. And we have the artifact hunter achievement. Now, to be fair, this is actually a perfect place to live in. You have the anomaly protecting you, you have the high ground, you stock up on bullets, food, you never have to go down. You have a perfect view, perfect thunderstorm, a perfect anomaly. Let's save and see what's gonna happen if we go across. Stop it! This is not leading anywhere, is it? Okay. Oh! Let's click load and just go to the other side too. Figure out what's happening on the other side. Oh, I might as well drop one of these. Okay, I think there is something there. Now, we know for a fact that we can survive a hit by that anomaly. So, are we just gonna take it? No! Let's try one more time. I really want to go to the other side and maybe on one of the balconies we can find something unique. I nearly made it off. Try one more time. <clears throat> what about this? Right, is there anything? Can't even enter. Alright, let's try to scale the building. That's the last thing I want to try. Does not seem like it. So close. Yet so far. And we died. down <laughs> I would love to jump from here but as you saw <laughs> there is no way you can survive that fall oh and somebody did try to scale this that one but I'm not bothered. Cool. What do we have? We have the maximum weight one. Alright, let's go back to the base. Do we have a Hercules? No we do not. 
500 bullets for this weapon, which we probably won't ever use. Pretty much it. Let's chug on an energy drink and go back. With this, we can actually buy an exo- uh, we can actually finish our exoskeleton and have the best suit in the game, prepped for X8, we can upgrade all of our weapons to the maximum, get the heat sensors on them, and all of the 9 yards, so it's gonna be a good feeling when we get it done. You know what? I'll deal with the radiation I do not care I just want to get there that's much better oh that's a pseudo dog and I'm running the wrong way am I yeah this is the way Straight to our base. Now we can remove the items and put the anti radiation. Let's go in. Sorted. Mission accomplished. Let's repair our weapons for free. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Now... It's time to turn in the weapons. Uh, the tools, sorry. Just... Yeah. yeah, let's go like this. А вот что мне как-то рассказали. Значит, двое рядовых решили подковать правду. Take me to Jupiter. Yes. And hopefully the new exoskeleton will sort out all of our energy problems and we will have infinite stamina or close to infinite stamina. The only thing I really don't like about Stalker Call of Pripyat is the, the bugs. I thought the game was really over, polished, bro. but it isn't. And the other thing is... Why do you have to finish 95% of the game to get well, all of the upgrades? It's beating the purpose right now, is it? Sop! Party tools. And bring card and tools. So we have to bring the the second batch of tools later to our boy in Skadovsk. We shall do that right now because he offers discounts on every single hey, hello. and i still don't know why the mission for snag did not activate he should have emptied out our stash and i just forgot to bring my exam that's fine he should rob our stash but he's Hill did not do that, so I think that one is bugged. Hello, good hunting. And when he robs your stash, you have to go and save him, get your stash coordinates, How's kill some it bandits, hanging, have a proper shoot up again. How about your tools? The ones for calibration. Boom. Weapon system master achievement. Perfect. And now we have all of the upgrades unlocked. 
but we are not going to do them here because we want to go and upgrade our exo. Let's see. Hello. If this guy can tell us anything. Nothing. Cool. Drop in if something interesting comes up. Skadovs that I have. That's for sure. One of the fighters and the last one is banded PDA. Keep, I'll keep him for now. I'll keep those PDAs because the bandit one might be connected to snag and by selling it if it's connected I'm gonna lose that mission which I don't want to do well This way, no, no, other way. Then let's go downstairs, pick up our our exo. Finally, and there we go. Theft. I guess we are not gonna upgrade our exo skeleton yet. Oh my goodness, no! And we have to remember that he that we have a lot of stuff in that stash so when we go there we gonna we want to be as light as possible and we want to bring i'm gonna put everything in the stash and then i'm gonna figure out what i'm gonna carry and how okay we're gonna bring our sniper rifle and some sniper rifle bullets 30 is going to be enough and then we're gonna bring our Vintar with 200 bullets that's more than enough to deal with El Banditos and we are going to bring our goldfish because plus 12 kilos simple as that we are ready to go. Okay, let's let's cast around. What happened to our go. stash? Don't know. Yeah, so he doesn't know what happened to your stash. I think I know who knows. And that is the doctor. I just want to save some time. So you need to I'm go to Skadovsk for him to steal your stuff. Otherwise, he will not steal it. Wonder again. Someone stole, stole things from my box. Do you know who it might have been? No, nothing like that has happened here. I did see one suspicious guy very recently, though. I went for a walk. On my way back, I spotted Stark Oliviano. As soon as he clocked me, he started being rude for no reason and said something about knowing where I live or some shit like that. I just ignored him. <laughs> knowing where I live. That's funny. I just ignored him at the time because I thought he was drunk or something. But now I think about it, it's pretty dodgy. Where did he go? Northeast. Substation. Do you know the Starker's name? I heard he's fairly new here. What's his freaking name? Is it Snob? Snack? No, no, no. Something kind of dead. Snag. That's it. His name is Snag. I see. Let's go Next. and have some revenge. We can cap Snag if we want to. But forgiveness is the key. First things first. We're going to do that during the day. They really don't want us to get that exo, do they? Hello. All right, let's call some help. Pop in sometime. It can be fun around here. Where's the substation? There it is. 
scanners have not detected any artifacts. It's been a long time since we placed them, and look at that, nothing. So what happened with our fellow buddy Snack? Basically, he had to steal our stuff to return his death to the bandits. And now, he is being held hostage by the banditos. As far as I know. Sultan sends his regards. Open wide, punk! Alright. Maybe we can get there before he can... He, he kills him. Let's see. Because I heard the gunshots. And I don't think he is a bad guy. I think he's just a guy in an unfortunate place at the unfortunate time. Yeah, he's out again. Alright, one more try. No, there's no way. This was really fast and with no effort at all. Alright. Let's try it. But this time around, let's speak to the bandit. I, I think whatever we do, we're gonna kill him anyways. As I said, I don't think the guy was a bad guy. I just think... He was forced to steal our stuff. That's one stubborn mutant. Live. Now he's coming back. Where's he? the hell do you want? I was just passing by. Relax, man. A PDA? Sultan, I dealt with that loser real good. That'll teach him not to mess with us. Okay, so we are gonna deal with Sultan. So he has an upgraded four. Such a sad inventory. <laughs> from these assholes. The sooner the better. The loot I've stashed behind this substation should last me a while. It's time to move on. I'm sure they're already looking for me. It's alright though. We'll see who gets who in the end. Now how do we access... Oh, interesting. Let's go save and let's go in. And all our stuff are here. Let's put on an exoskeleton. My mission, let me just... Yeah, we have to bring back the things. So let's take off. Can we carry it? Yes, the power of the exo. Let me just double check if we took everything. We did. That's why this is the best suit in the game. I'm carrying 90 kilos of weight. Like it's nothing. I don't want to disclose how heavy I am. But that's a lot more than I weigh. And this, imagine being able to carry this. 
and being able to sprint. That's what's gonna happen as soon as we reach our base. And then we are gonna go and do this mission and wrap up this part. And after that, it's straight saving to the ending. Labor laboratory X8 and evacuation. I think that's it. Oh no, it's X8, destroying the antenna in the kindergarten. What's up, bro? After that, I think it's the evac. Hey there! Okay. Exoskeleton. The technician cannot perform these upgrades. Why? Let's put on the armor. Number of containers. Cyber protection. I think we need to go to Skadovsk to Cordon because he's the one who received the last batch of upgrades. Let's go to Cordon. See you around. There's the guy. I'm listening, man. Hey, Stalker. How are you? Not Cordon, Skadovsk. I'm mixing up Call of Pripyat and. Shadow of Chernobyl. Hello. Well, good luck. Welcome. Pop in if you find any artifacts and we'll see, we'll see what we can see. Nothing special. Cool. And let's have a chat with Nimbo, Mr. Talon. Close to No, he doesn't want to hear anything about Howdy it. Oh, I wanted to tell him the fate. The sna about the snack's fate. How he died and everything. How is it? Servo motor boosters. Finally, we got them. Um, now we can run. And the last upgrade is probably with the scientists. But let's see how our stamina looks. Horrible. But that's just because we are carrying more than 90 kilos. We got four containers. So let's do that first. Two anti radiation. Compass. And the heart of the oasis. And that's much better already. Okay. Let's go back to Yano Station. I'm listening. Hey, bro. I'm just What's gonna up, leave bro? a couple of items in the stash. I don't wanna carry them around because all of them can be upgraded here with Nitro. The only thing I wanna go and do is upgrade my suit. And you can see the difference. So impact and armor are better on the exoskeleton. And everything else is rubbish. But that's gonna increase as soon as we get the additional uh, the additional radiation protection from the scientists. Alright, let's see what's our stamina now. Look at that. We're running in an exoskeleton. 
They should have done this in all of the parts and not only in Call of Ripyat. And it's just telling you how good this suit is when you have to go through three different technicians to upgrade it. carrying basically all, all of our weapons nearly we got our SGI and some stuff in the the prepare base hello there we go so we can choose chemical protection or Radiation protection, and it's pretty clear that we need radiation protection. And that went up. So we are doing good with side protection, impact negation, armor is amazing, our stamina is really good. It's like just a better suit all around than the Seva minus the container. But with the Seva suit, even if you unlock the fifth container, it's just gonna with this setup. I've got minus four, minus four, that's minus eight. So this is negating each other. So now in the last one, you have to put the anti-radiation. You cannot put anything else. So I'm I'm not losing a lot. If I want to remove the radiation, I will just remove the compass for a while and that's it. We do have one more thing we want to do in this part, and we are going to do it as soon as I leave all of my stuff here because I don't want to run with all this weight. It's a pretty easy one. It's a grab and go mission. our stamina like that. oh no we got endless stamina nearly endless look at that <laughs> that's what we were aiming for now we want to go where is it is it in satin we need to go to the tree Now it's here. If I can remember where it where it is. Anomalous Grove is it? No, it's not that one. That's a terrible one. No. Ash heap. No. Claw anomaly. Oak Pine Anomaly. This is where we need to go. And our mission is over here. So let's go back to Skidopsk. Sup? Later. Let me just go to the other side and have a chat with the doctor. Maybe well, just say something spirit. about the theft. You're a touch. Okay, cool. Stay so that's concluded. That mission is done. Hey, bro. Let's go to Skidosk. This is the last side mission we have to do. And we can do. So the monolith are probably gonna stay there. We can go and kill him. I think the whole mission will be cancelled if we do that. And as always, we're going to do the mission during the day. Yep. 
Don't ask me where I picked up this one, but I did. This is where we go. Video planet anomaly. Yeah, with an energy drink, we have endless stamina. Basically, we can run through the zone, collect artifacts, we are immortal to bullets. Just stay away from the radiation, you're gonna be good. This would be OP, we could get a helmet for it too. Oh, it has a night vision device, but it's not that good, it's burning my eyes. Nice to see that the mutants are killing each other. Okay, so we are looking for Joker. He's here somewhere. His body at least. We have to run around and find him. Very hard to see anything with this grass being all around. There we go. I'm positive the artifact is on the tree itself. It's clear from here that I could climb onto the tree from the hill. I just hope the hills are free of mutants. It's too bad I had to come here on my own after that argument with Carton and Barge. But when they bring back the artifact, they'll see I was right all along. There we go. So we... That's a Chimera. Revenge time. Now, I'm bulletproof, buddy. Look at that. my arm. You can actually even see that I'm wearing an exoskeleton. Even my HP is regen nicely. Hey, okay. we're going back to Skadovsk. Mission log. We found out about Joker's fate with his PDA, Snag, Bandit PDA, Monolith Fighter PDA, Sultan Messenger PDA, and the last one. Yeah, that's the Joker fate. And you can do this for one in the, the first part of the game, I just didn't know. And I did, didn't manage to find the corpse. The mission explanation is pretty vague. One of those missions. If you get lucky, you get lucky. If you don't, you don't. That was actually the first time we managed to kill a Chimera without dying. 
But to be fair, you saw what happened. Hey man, this here place is as peaceful as it gets, so holster that shooter of yours and keep it that way. I will probably take out that chimera with a knife right now. I found a PDA, have a look. What do I need? need a PDA for? Whose is it? I found it near some bare bones, not from, from, from the oak pine. It's Joker's PDA. Joker's? That's impossible. Well, I'm so devastated. So Joker's dead too. Oh Joker, we won't be laughing at, at your jokes anymore. Rest in peace. And you too, Barge. How did it come to this? So if you didn't know, now you know. Alright. Upgrade time. Fire rate. Yes, please. Recoil. No, thank you. More fire rate. Why not? And now accuracy or recoil? Accuracy. What about our sniper rifle? We can choose between flatness and fire rate. Are we going for flatness? We can choose to reduce the recoil and then we are going automatic target acquisition system. Nasty. And then we have this weapon over here. We can choose between handling and accuracy. We're going to go with accuracy. Recoil and accuracy. We're going to go with recoil because it has a kick to it. Fire rate or flatness, fire rate. And then adjustable sight or automatic target acquisition system, definitely. That's pretty much it. All our weapons have been upgraded. Thank you very much. And that's the last side quest we could do. We are not going to give the artifact to the scientists. Not just yet. Or should we? Let's do it. Hello. I really want to have that mission complete. Even though I know the ending is not going to be. I'm tired. Should I? Because I know that the bandits will exploit it. Exploit it. But if I don't, I will have what mission not completed. I already have the monolith one. I'll complete that one because I'm not friendly with the duty. Time's or... money. Get talking. What's your business here? All right, I'll think about that later. What do we do with the PDAs? What's man. up, bro? You can always sell them. PDAs. Nothing else left to do with them. We did all the quests we could have done. Oh, our weapons are in pre -piat. To be fair, I'm happy with these weapons and finishing games with these weapons. The game with these weapons is fine for me. Are we that heavy again? So if I can carry it, fine. Let's remove the heart and put this on. Now we can move. Do we have another one? Yes, we do. And now we can take everything and we are moving to Pripyat. 
here, so I will wait. Alright, let's leave the helmet and the suit. Come on over, bro! I've got all the shit you're ever gonna need! I'm selling everything. Why not? Might as well make, make some money. We're gonna use health restoration. And we are gonna use... Yep, yeah, I'm happy with that. It's actually much better. Originally gonna make this immortal. That's much better. See you. Tons of bullets. Let's just get more. This is gonna last us until the end of the game, I reckon. 2,000... Over 490 sniper bullets. I think we can kill the entire prepare with that. We're gonna sell the fireball. We're gonna sell this one. Gonna keep the snowflake, you never know. Flame can go. Bubble we will keep. Shell, don't need it. Sell, they're still heavy though. That's fine. Do you have any energy drinks? Yes, let's grab the energy drinks. We might need them. We don't need any anti-radiation drugs because we already have a lot of just like the passive anti-radiation. And everything else we are going to keep and finish the game like this. Hey, hey bro. Stalker. How are you? Everything is upgraded. It's ready to go. Let's move to Pripyat and end this part over here and... In the next part, we are going to clear out the X8 lab and finish the entire game. It should be an hour long part and it's going to be very entertaining. This one wasn't that fun because we were fine. Uh, uh, Fine. Uh, we, we were fixing up some loose ends, doing the side quests, and just wrapping up the entire game. And then in the next one, we are ready for carnage and havoc. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.